There's a lot of perp dexes to choose from, but Vertex Protocol has some of the lowest fees on the market. If you want to trade crypto, go long and short and not have to KYC. In today's video, we're going to be doing a full review and tutorial of Vertex Protocol, a decentralized exchange. If you think this platform is right for you, there will be a referral link in the description. Let's jump right in. Now, first off, why would you want to trade on a DEX versus a centralized exchange? Number one, you have self-custody of your funds at all times. Number two, there's no KYC requirements. Number three, DEXs have less restrictions. Now, sometimes you might need a VPN, but in general, you can sign up and start trading on DEXs from anywhere in the world. Number four, DEXs have more transparency. And number five, DEXs and perp DEXs like Vertex have been getting better and better over the years. And that's why today we're covering a platform like Vertex. Now, Vertex is a decentralized exchange and it's built on the Arbitrum blockchain. Now, there are many perp DEXs on the market. Why should you choose Vertex out of all the options? Well, I made this table on RankFi and Vertex, some of the lowest trading fees on the market and good trading volume and over 50 coins you can trade and the UI is great as well. So I think this is one of the best perp DEXs on the market. I also really like Hyper Liquid, which I also have a video on. Again, I'll put links to all of these resources below if you prefer to compare these platforms yourself. Now, here are six key features I found on Vertex. Number one, they offer over 50 futures pairs with up to 20x leverage. There's also spot trading and prediction markets, which are getting popular. Number two, it's very fast. The orders are just as quick as a centralized exchange. Another cool feature is the one-click trading, which a lot of perp DEXs are starting to add. You don't have to manually approve your wallet every time, which gets annoying. Key feature number three, Vertex has a great UI, which I've already mentioned, and you'll see later in this video. Number four, Vertex is available on four blockchains at the time of this video. And you can deposit funds from 10 different blockchains, so it's easy to get funds onto the platform. Number five, when you deposit funds, users automatically earn a yield. And number six, Vertex is non-custodial, meaning you control your assets at all times, even when you're trading. Now, what are the risks with Vertex protocol and DEXs in general? Well, the most obvious one is smart contract exploits. So as with any DeFi protocol, the code can be hacked if somebody finds a vulnerability. Other potential risks could be liquidity issues, governance risks, and more. So even though Vertex has a good track record so far, manage your funds appropriately and don't hold all of your assets in one wallet. Now, if you wanna learn how to use Vertex, deposit funds, and place trades, Let's jump into the tutorial. Now, if you want even lower trading fees than what they have already, click the link in the description to get 10% off. That will also take you to the official website. It's gonna take you to a page, something like this, and you're gonna connect your wallet in the top right corner. So click connect wallet. If you don't have one, you can click create one and that will walk you through the guides. I have MetaMask and it's gonna ask me to give permission to Vertex. So click confirm. And it wants me to switch to the Arbitrum network because that's what Vertex is built on. And then just agree to the terms and conditions and click start trading. And here's my little portfolio overview. We see we don't have any funds on Vertex yet. And you can see this deposit button here. And we're gonna deposit from my crypto wallet. Now I should mention when you deposit funds onto a perp DEX like Vertex, your funds are going into a smart contract. So it's not like you're depositing onto a centralized exchange. Vertex doesn't have control over that smart contract. So that's how you're in self custody of your funds, even though you're depositing quote unquote onto a platform. So you have a few different options in this dropdown. So I have funds cross chain and you can see Vertex lets you deposit funds from any of these blockchains. I have funds on base and I believe I have Ethereum on base. Now Vertex uses USDC for its perpetual contracts. So you need to deposit USDC However, if you have Ethereum like me, you can still deposit the ETH and it'll automatically convert that to USDC very conveniently. And we're gonna click receive USDC because again, that's what we need on Vertex. And I'm gonna click switch to base because I'm currently on the Arbitrum network. Click switch network. And now we're just gonna click bridge. And we're gonna confirm this one more time in my wallet. The gas fee is only two cents and it's submitted and the funds should arrive any second. And there we go, the funds just arrived. That took about a minute. And we can see we have some USDC in my account. Now remember on Vertex, your funds automatically earn yield, but now we're ready to roll. So 
Here you're in your portfolio, you can view the overview, balances, open positions, and then you can go to markets or trade. We're gonna to go to perps. We're gonna to go to perps here and go to Bitcoin, which has been absolutely ripping the last couple of days. Now the most popular derivatives in the crypto market are perpetual contracts, which let you go long or short on the underlying price of the asset. So you're using USDC to open these positions. You're not actually owning Bitcoin or Ethereum or the asset you're trading. And let's go over how to place a trade. So on Vertex, you have charts with trading view. So you can do all your technical analysis right on the platform. You can select your markets from the top left. They have over 50 that you can choose from, including perps, spot and prediction markets. And then you can view the prices, the data, open interest, the projected funding rates, and a bunch of market details at the top of the screen here. Your order books, so you have the sellers and the buyers. You can adjust your leverage from this tab here. Vertex lets you go up to 20x leverage. That's a little high for me, so we're just gonna do like, let's say 5x, confirm. And then you can place your orders on the right-hand side of the screen. Again, this is gonna look a lot like any centralized exchange. I wasn't sure why it wasn't working. I had to switch my network in my wallet back to Arbitrum 1. And now we can see this button here, set up one-click trading. So I'm gonna click this. And here you can sign one approval transaction at the start of your trading session and you won't need to sign again. So every time you make a transaction on chain, you have your wallet pop up, you have to approve it. It's very slow. With this, you just sign it once and then you can trade it just like on a centralized exchange once you start using Vertex. So I'm gonna click confirm here. Now, if you wanna opt out, of that feature, you can click sign every transaction instead. And there's one more confirmation here, click confirm. And one click trading has been applied. You can see it's on. Now forgot to mention Vertex does have a minimum order value of 0.001 Bitcoin. Time of this video, that's 76 US dollars. So keep that in mind when depositing funds. I just raised my leverage a little bit because I only deposited 20 bucks. Now continuing with the market order, you're gonna see a bunch of info here. So this is the estimated price I'd get in. This is the estimated liquidation price. So you can see all these numbers before you place your order. There's also the take profit and stop loss, which is obviously very useful. And you can do by percentage. So if this trade goes up 10% or down 10%, it'll automatically close the position. And let's say everything looks good. I wanna get in at this price and my liquidation is 57K. I can click buy long Bitcoin. And now you can see the order is open right at the bottom of the screen here. Now you can always adjust the take profit stop loss by clicking this edit icon here. I can cancel the take profit, order canceled, and now you can change it to 5%, 20%, or just leave it as is. And you can also close it right from the chart, which I think is pretty cool. Or another cool feature is you can drag that stop loss to the price that you want. So let me put 10% again. So we can see the take profit right here. You can actually just drag it up to whatever price you want, click OK. And now that take profit has been adjusted to 77K. Pretty cool little feature there. You can also close the long position from the chart as well or from down at the bottom here. Close that, market close. And just like that, basically instant, just like a centralized exchange, we're out of that trade. Now there are some other features you can check out such as their earned products. They have staking, lending and borrowing, referral programs, they have the vaults and other things you can explore. Maybe they'll add some more prediction markets, spot trading, but they don't have a lot of assets on spot trading. The main thing people are using this for is the perpetual contracts. Now crypto is very competitive and some better platforms might emerge. So if you wanna find the best perp dexes right now, you can compare the leading platforms on rankfi.com. I'm gonna be tracking the trading fees, the number of assets, and a bunch of other metrics if you want to compare more platforms.